Recently, scientists came across an incredible plant compound that may make heart disease not so scary, particularly one called cardiac hypertrophy. But that's only just part of it. So keep in mind, now this one plant compound is shown to have, basically it's shown to have, let's put it this way, has not been shown to be toxic, but incredibly beneficial in more ways than just heart health itself. But let's get right into the meat of the uh, study, so to say, and go into the research title. Research title that was publicly released, and this is their words, not mine. Ancient herbal therapy can prevent and reverse cardiac hypertrophy. Ancient herbal therapy meaning that magnolia, for example, has been used to treat heart conditions in Asian medicine for an untold number of years. So using that observation, scientists want to basically form a hypothesis and then test a theory, at least in animals. Now keep in mind, before we go much further, this study was done in animals and through injection. For a reason, because finocchiol, the main extract from magnolia, doesn't absorb very well through the gut. But let us proceed. In the citation title, for those people that want to validate what I'm saying, it is called Hinocchio Blocks Reverses Cardiac Hypertrophy in Mice by Activated Mitochondrial SIRT3, or otherwise known as CERT3. Remember CERT3, that's gonna be important a little bit later on as we rush through this study. I'm gonna to try to get it all done within five minutes. So here we go. All right, published in Nature's Communications, it's April 14, 2015. All right, let's first look at cardiac hypertrophy. For those not familiar with it, this is what it is. Cardiac hypertrophy is a thickening of the heart muscles, the myocardium, which results in a decrease in the size of the chamber of the heart. That's blood being pumped. It's kind of like awkward and misshaped. All right, but let's proceed a little forward. Let's look at this picture of this chart. All right, what I want to show you is this. And I'll pull it out so I can see too, so I'm pointing at the right thing. Looking at this chart, you see what's called cardiac hypertrophy. You see the heart that's a little large on the side. You see how the, the tissues are kind of far apart. And that's something which happens Believe, believe when CERT3 levels are all low. Now remember that word CERT3 again? And Honokyo. This is going to be a connection there. All right, then what happens is when they inject these mice, which have heart disease, because we've always been concerned about the health of mice, we inject it. Look what happens. You see what happens? The heart, uh, basically, the CERT3 levels begin to rise, and the HKL, 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 which you see on there, is, means Honokyo. You notice how things return back to normal, the heart size, the swelling goes down, and therefore the chambers return to average normal size, I should say. That was done through injections of Hinocchiol. But let us proceed right into the study, because this stuff is fascinating, and it does, again, more than even this. So let's look. When injected to mice, Hinocchiol reduced the excess growth of individual cardiac muscle cells. Decreased ventricular wall thickness, the thickness and prevented the accumulation of interstitial fibrosis, which is the stiffening of the cardiac muscles that reduce the ability to contract. Yeah, correct. If you have cardiac hypertrophy, it eventually leads to heart failure. The honokiol from the magnolia basically stopped this and actually began to reverse it. Let's proceed forward. It also protected heart muscle cells from the damage caused by oxidative stress, which can damage the DNA. All right, let's take a little side road here on the CERT3. What happens is this. When they, when they raise mice that lack this uh, protein called CERT3, the, what's happened is their ATP levels tend to be about 40% lower than animals that have adequate levels of CERT3. When they give the Hinocchiol, this is kind of how they think this magnolia extract may work, it raises this CERT3 level up. What does that mean? It means it converts to more what's called ATP. A lot of your athletes may be familiar with adenosine triphosphate. It's the powerhouse of the cells. It gives you energy. And so what ends up happening is it raises this and therefore ATP levels hypothetically come back up, meaning energy is restored, everything can work properly. But let us proceed with what the researcher said. Human studies have shown that sedentary patients over the age of 60 uh, have nearly 40% less CERT3. Mice that lack the gene for CERT3 have 40% lower ATP levels also, a primary source of energy than those with the gene. Pinocchio helped restore the energy levels. All right, but now let's proceed back to cardiac hypertrophy. How did this stuff work? And this is how what the researchers said, and I'm quoting them, so basically I'm not trying to misinterpret what the research said. Begin, additional studies showed that hokinokiol, all, acting through CERT3 could reduce and prevent hypertrophic growth in cardiac muscles, remember, the bad, abnormal, weird growth, prevent mice from developing full-blown hypertrophy, 
and even reduce existing damage from established hypertrophy. Meaning they already had that swelling and that weird growth. The magnolia extract, pinocchio, uh, helped reverse it. It also blocked the production of fibroblast cells that interfere with heart muscle performance and reduce production of microfibroblast cells that speed wound healing but can impair heart function. The researchers did not detect any appreciable toxicity to Hinocchio. All right, keep in mind, before you go looking for Hinocchio all over the place, this has to be validated in human studies, or at least validated again through another animal study. Now also too, Hinocchio absorbs really poorly through the gut and has a very short uh, life in the bloodstream itself. So there's a lot of tweaks that still have to be worked out. Now the Asian formula that's been used for centuries, what they did is they mixed it with rhubarb and with something called immature orange fruit. And by doing this, it did something to help uh, increase the absorption of hinocchiol, or if you want to be more high tech, some will do liposomal formulas of hinocchiol to get the absorption down, but still you have to work on maintaining it in the blood itself. But before you go crazy with it, it has to be validated again. But this is Ralph Turciano signing off. I hope it helps. Pinocchio, extract of magnolia, poor gastrointestinal absorption, needs to be improved. But as a side note too, I forgot to mention, it's one of the few substances that actually passes the blood brain barrier. A little bit of bonus information. Thanks once again, and I really hope this helps. And I am talking to manufacturers right now and developers and see if they can find a way to get Pinocchio absorbed uh, at a consistent level, standardized at a consistent uh, quality, and maybe eventually, someone will stumble onto it and it can be some real good. Thank you once again.